been trying to record this sitting down on the playground equipment. It's not working. So we're going to see if I could just talk close to the camera. <sighs> um, I was thinking about uh, some of the questions that I got on my I'm back video. Uh, and one of the questions that Jasmine brought up was uh, what's some of the stuff that I've learned over the last 10 years of art journaling. And I haven't always been art journaling during the last 10 years, but I have returned to it on and off, on and off, on and off. And um, one of the things that comes up a lot when people ask me about art journaling is about planning layout and um, like planning your pages, thinking about your pages. Um, and I think that is sort of not productive. Thinking about and planning your art journaling page isn't going to help your art journal. It um, detracts from the process. Art journaling is a process of exploration. And if you're thinking and planning out your pages in the way you would like a scrapbook page or a sketchbook page or even a finished artwork, then you're not necessarily engaging in that process of art journaling, which is a it's a process of discovery. Uh, it's an emotional discovery. It's a thinking discovery. And you often, or I do, I should say, I should use I statements here. Um, I enter a state of flow and that is, it's a creative state. Um, but, but when I was thinking about this, um, one of the things that kept coming up for me was the idea of um, don't think, don't plan, do. Um, and I wrote it, I wrote it on these crappy post notes. Don't think, don't plan, or don't plan, don't think, do. Um, and I think, that's excellent art journaling advice. It's terrible life advice. Just think about it. If you're if you're not thinking and you're not planning for your life, it's terrible, terrible idea. But if you're not thinking and you're not planning and you're just engaging and doing in your art journal, that's perfect. That's the way it's supposed to be because your art journal is helping you think and plan for your life. It's helping you think and plan about your emotional states. It's helping you think and plan maybe about your art pieces. Um, but that art journaling process needs to be entered into um, kind of without thought, without planning. Because if you're if you're thinking and planning, then you're gonna end, you're gonna end up engaging in overthinking and thinking yourself out of art journaling, and not um, not getting everything you can out of your art journal. And I think that's important. It's it's a hard thing I think to do. Um, but it's so important to just, just don't think, don't plan, just get in that art journal and start doing. Slap some paint on the page, gesso the page, add some watercolor, collage, washi tape, whatever it is you use, get it in there, get it started, and let your page be messy and a process. Yeah. So don't think, don't plan, do. <clears throat>